Welcome back to the channel and this morning we are still here in Boston and we are going to have a wonderful time in the second half of this video because it is almost New Year's. Yes it is. And Mark cut himself shaving this morning. It is so wonderful this morning. Oh my gosh we are going. Hello. Yes here we are. So we are heading to the parking garage. You know what here's a fun tip if you ever are staying at a Hampton Inn you can generally get free bottles of water just by asking at the front desk. And they'll give you like one per person. That's what I've always noticed. I've never been denied it. I mean, as long as you're staying there, they, they will give you a bottle of water. So every morning and every evening, I will get a bottle of water. There's our little red car. Little red Mustang. There are some wonderful buildings here in Boston. I love all of these ones that are curved around like this. And there's so many of them like that. Look here up at the top, the way the roof is. We're currently headed to Harvard University. So I would love to see some of the buildings there and are the architecture and everything and maybe even a little tour of the campus. Oh, look at this. That's, there's like little lions on it. What is that? City of Boston Fire Department is what it says. All of the details there and the roofs. I love all of that. That is so good. I think Harvard is just right up here. I mean, unless we're in it. I think this is... Look at that building. It's like there's a big steeple on the top of it. I think should, we're here. Should we go inside? I'm not sure where to go. I wonder where we go. All right, let's head into Harvard College Admissions and Visitor Center. The Visitor Center was closed today because of, well, probably the holiday and the fact that it's Sunday. We are here in Starbucks getting our, I'm getting the, what is this? Oat milk, chai, something or other. And Mark got the caramel macchiato. So that's very good. It is so beautiful. I love all of these buildings here. And I got myself another black coffee. Because, well, this is the first black coffee. The other one was a chai thing because we are going on a tour and I'm so excited. It actually starts right around the corner here. Well, cool. we've been on the tour for a little bit now and we're headed into the cemetery. It says the Granary Burying Ground. Let's head on in here. This is so cool. Look, it's full of people. That is so beautiful. Although we don't have time to look at it because uh, the tour group was going. But, oops, 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 oops. oops. Got caught up in the moment. The Freedom Trail. By the way, if you want to go on the Freedom Trail, you should just need to follow some bricks. Where they are? The bricks there. Yeah, this is the Freedom Trail, so you just follow it along. Yeah, just follow the bricks. Follow the brick road. And you'll know the Freedom Trail. That building is so cool. I would recommend the Freedom Trail here in Boston. It's like two and a half hours, but you get to see a lot of parts of Boston that you wouldn't normally get to if you were just driving. That's what Mark was saying earlier to me. So, yeah, you like it, don't you? Yeah, I like it. It's like work. It's really like... Yeah. We want to like know all of this. That's a really cool street. But we're not going that way, I guess. So, we're going this way. Oh, oh you can see the oh, wow. Yes, all the buildings. We are continuing the tour, and this is the Paul Revere House, which is actually the last standing original structure here in Boston, made out of wood, because they had all been dis dis destroyed over time because of fires and different things like that. And it was a, basically an accident that it happened to... Oh, yeah. It's basically an accident that it happened to stay, because at the time, he wasn't really a huge political figure like he is today, a big historical figure. So... It was basically a coincidence that Paul Revere's house happened to be the last standing original structure made of wood. So that was that was pretty cool. That was a very interesting tour yeah. and I think we're going to head back to civilization. I don't know where we are. I'm kind of lost a little bit. Right. 
but we're going to we're just following the you know the freedom trail, trail. Yes. where did it go i lost you freedom. there's a brick road but then we kind of deviated from it but we are going to head back into an area where maybe we'll find something to eat because we do have a nice dinner planned tonight which is consisting of primarily seafood i think well, we just found this nice little place here, and we will get some, maybe some soup, something small for lunch. This is so good. I got the penne marinara, and very, very nice. And then Mark got the fettuccine alfredo, which is also, I tasted it, really, really good as well. Mm. This is so beautiful. Wow. We are now taking a little break in the car and I have my new coat, which I didn't even show myself buying, but I, this was like $64. I was astounded by that price. So I bought it. Well, it is absolutely stunning here. We are in the Boston Commons Park and we're going to order an Uber soon because we do need to get over to the restaurant. They were doing a wonderful presentation at the skating rink, the ice skating rink. And I would have loved to skate there, but they're not doing open skate right now. They're basically doing, I think like some sort of competition or show or something, but that's all right. We're gonna go ahead and take some interesting photos here. Look at this Capitol building behind us. You can see the skyline over there absolutely amazing all the christmas lights in the park here and then there's a view of the skating rink down there they're playing music and then you know you could actually watch the fireworks from here above the skyline that would be cool or go down to the harbor so i'm not sure what we're gonna do yet well a change of events and they ended up blocking off like so many of these roads out here that we can't even get around so I had reservations, which are way across town, but there's no way that we can get even over there or get an Uber over there. So I canceled the reservations and I was able to actually get a different, a different reservation here on this brick road that we've been on uh, many times now here in downtown Boston. So it's an Italian restaurant and I'm really anxious for it. I'm excited and let's go on site here. It's called Toscano and hopefully it's good. They've got balloons in here and everything. It's so cute. All right, so I am looking at probably getting the salmon. I think that's gonna be a good option. And then I have an espresso martini coming. Mark has Prosecco, I think, coming. Um, and then, yeah, it's gonna be really nice. This is so beautiful. And you have your, I guess it's Prosecco, right? Moscato. Oh, Moscato, okay. Right. White Moscato. Okay, that makes sense. Oh my gosh. So the, here's my salmon. Wonderful with the asparagus. And then I got a little bit of spaghetti on the side. Mark got the... I forgot what they... I forgot. Oh, the sea bass. Yeah. You were going to get the cod, I believe. And then they said, oh, you should do the sea bass instead. So yes. And then the little potatoes on the side. And yes. This looks very... We had dinner, we were sitting in the car. This was full of people. They had music, they had people skating, and now we came back down here. We took a little break in the car, waiting to come down. You know, we we were in the car for an hour after we ate. We came over here to the back to the same park, and there's like nothing going on. I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll skate, you know, skate on, skate on the thing while they're playing music. No one's even skating. So a short Uber ride over and we are here at the Christopher Columbus Park. And it's the waterfront park here near the Boston Harbor. So I figured, well, we both thought maybe they, we both thought maybe they would have something going on down here because that's what the website said. And they do, they have all these really pretty lights that you can walk under. And I think down here, right on the waterfront, there might be something here. Um, I don't hear any music or anything. It is very busy in here and we're currently in the Marriott on the ground awaiting about 1130 when we're going to go outside and see the firework display and the music and everything. 
So yeah, we are tired. I'm so sleepy. We're both. Like I'm just like I want a blanket in a bed right now. There are tons of people out here. It's like a concert or something. <laughs> But we just have a few minutes to go and then the fireworks will start. We are going to be going to Providence, Rhode Island today. So we made it to Hartford, Connecticut, and we are downtown here near the historical area. And Pratt Street is pretty well known, and we're headed that direction. It's just right over there. And we have Starbucks. And um, that's my other glove. I need it. You've got the caramel macchiato. Of course, I of did. Of course. I like caramel macchiato. I bet this is really nice in the evening with all these little lights. Hmm? He wants a <laughs> You always want your pictures. Okay. Of course, yes. Yes, it's very nice. In front of these? Yep. Like, you know, no vehicles know. allowed? I think so, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that building is so cool. It actually reminds me of a Renaissance era building with the way that the blocks are. I saw a lot of things like that whenever I was in Tuscany, actually. Not much is open today, so we're kind of just getting the atmosphere of the place, is, and that's all right with me. Yes, me too. I like it like this. Yeah. It's calm. It's calm. Very calm. There's the traffic. We just enjoy. Like, you know, if you want to take your pictures as well, there's no people. That's true. Yeah. We can take pictures without a whole bunch of people in the right. way. We are in West Hartford right now. They have this like new shopping area. It's very cute. And um, I like this sign over here because it says West Hartford. I think we'll go get photos in front of it. But Mark's looking for a magnet. The problem is nothing's open. <laughs> so I'm not sure if we'll find one, but we will try. And if not, we can get one at a gas station probably. So let's see. Whoa. Yeah, look at this. There's like oh, wow. artwork. Yeah, oh, I like Shackled that. hands. Oh, breaking free and grasp, grasping a dove for, I guess, freedom. Yeah, that's really pretty. They have this whole mural there and some quotes. And then there's also a write up about it that talks about a journey toward freedom and excellence. So this is out of 2021, relatively recent. We got our milk tea. Which one's mine? Yeah. This one? Yeah, pearl. Oh yeah, the regular pearl. I'm excited to try that one. We are currently driving through Norwich Town, Connecticut, and we're trying to find this magnet for Connecticut, and we're having no luck at all. So we just went into a grocery store, nothing. We went into like two or three different gas stations, nothing. There's no gift shops or anything like that. It's a very small town overall, and a lot of a lot of Connecticut actually doesn't have very much to see in it as far as, as far as when you're driving through. So we haven't had much luck in that regard either. But um, we are going to continue our drive today because we still have to go to Rhode Island, which is an hour away, and that will uh, be probably the final part of our trip today. Well, we'll have to then go back to Boston after that. So another big long day here. We made it to Providence, Rhode Island and it is stunning here. Look at all the wonderful lights and the buildings. This is actually the river walk over here. So let's take a look at that and see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like just a place you could walk along the river here. But that is a beautiful skyline, really. There's even ducks swimming. We're gonna look for Mark's Magnet for Rhode Island and hopefully we can find it. Hopefully. Yeah, and then we're gonna do dinner here somewhere. We'll have to figure out that part when we get to it, but it's not even five o'clock yet. 
but you know it looks so much darker because of the, the lighting there is a street over here i think it's called steeple street probably because there's a steeple on it it's i think that one right over there it's in the distance wow and this building back here that is really awesome as well mm. There's another view of the, that clock up there with the four sides. I hear a duck in the background. It says Old Stone Bank. Oh, wow. That looks beautiful. The top of that. Hemingway's Seafood Grill and Oyster Bar. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, yes, we get to go by the bank then. Mm. Okay, let's go to the restaurant now and hopefully they have room for us. They should. Literally nobody's in this town right now. Everybody's at home. Yeah. Probably sleeping. Right. <laughs> old stone bank. Oh, it's a bank. Yeah. Oh. That's where you put all your old stones. This is very beautiful in here. I ordered decaf coffee and I love the way they brought it out to me. Got my little cup here. And I think we're both getting the same thing and we didn't even realize it. They have this seafood casserole and that sounds pretty interesting. Shrimp, scallops, got cod, lobster. Yeah, I think that is what I'm going to do. The Moscato. I guess it's like your favorite drink. It's so sweet. I tried a little sip of it. It's just like grape I juice, like, basically. I like it, really. Since yeah. you weren't driving, I'm driving. Yeah, yeah, you're, I'm, I'm driving. You get the passenger again. <laughs> oh, that's what it used to look like, I guess. All of those little ships and things. That's nice. Oh. Oh, three little buns. They're fresh from the oven. Oh, those are warm. And they have the cheese or the butter. Hopefully it's room temperature. That's kind of a pet peeve of mine whenever they don't take time to let it sit out. Ooh, that's soft. That's ready to go. They really are not holding back on the asparagus here. I don't think I need that much. But Mark also got the same thing the seafood bake situation. Wow, we decided to share a caramel apple, or what is this now? Apple pie. Caramel apple pie cheesecake. Oh my gosh. By the way, the dinner was absolutely amazing. It was like, you look like you're tired already. <laughs> yeah, I'm so full. I started getting tired as I started talking. <laughs> but um, the dinner was amazing and I finished like almost all of my coffee. I feel very good about it. And this looks quite great as well. So, fantastic. Well, we have our final breakfast this morning here in Boston. And I went all out with my waffles. I found they had whipped cream. So, there's chocolate chips, strawberry, whipped cream, and sliced almonds. And then we've got the two bananas, an egg. So, I've got the oat milk chai. And we are now on the move again here on Chestnut Street. It's a really beautiful morning and the sky is blue. That's actually where we ate the other night. 1928 Beacon Hill it was very good. But we are looking for Acorn Street, which is a cute little street. And we'll get some photos over there. Really, really pretty. We made it. We're back on Acorn Street, and we can actually see it, because the last time we were here, it was in the dark. 